Michael. Dave, I merged your 53 text quickly because it doesn't look controversial. Okay, look great. Thanks. I'm just reading Hank's intro. I guess you can see that. <laughs> I don't know if you had a chance to read it. Um, so, um, I think no, nah, looks like it was a bunch of things. Unless you see comments from me, I've read some of the things, not other things. Show conversation. Oh, uh, I had read a previous version, and then he had addressed some, and I haven't reread it after he made the changes. So you can see I've made things that are now outdated. So. I don't see enough to quibble with, but um, I also have to read it through from beginning to end. Sometimes this is really hard to know what you're doing. Um, yeah, one of the points that I raised, he made a change in one place and not the rest. And I think I'm in the category of, yeah, I can live with that. And that was the uh, use of the term appraise as a verb. And so originally, so if you look at the um, there's a bunch of changes to uh, assess, right? Of so uh, originally the text had, if I remember right, uh, I'm trying to bring back up your screen, um, had evaluate in a number of places, like uh, it was on the screen sure. a second ago, yeah, like in 423, for example, uh, yeah, and so um. I pointed out on the first use, I had a comment that says, um, I think I prefer the term evaluate, and I mentioned that evaluation is a term that's defined in uh, the security terminology RFC, right, 4949, and appraise is not. Um, and the meaning that we mean is the same as what's in 4949's definition of, of evaluation. And so he changed back the first use um, and said, um, I think his response was something along the lines of, well, we're kind of defining evaluation in the first use. And so he changed that one, sorry, defining appraisal in the first use, because I think it was in the terminology section of something like um, appraisal policy for whatever it is. And so we changed that one back to evaluate and then left all the other ones as appraisal. Um, so I guess that's something we should verify. I don't feel strongly about it, but that was my point that says evaluating or evaluation is a term that's already defined in these. Right. <laughs> Okay. Uh, welcome, Sarah Helbley. Helbley. Hey, Sarah. Yeah. Hi. Um, and capture anyone who we haven't seen before. Where Where do you work, Sarah? I'm at uh, the John Hopkins Applied Physics Lab. Uh, Ned Smith joining. Your area director from John Hopkins. I can't remember his name. I can see his face, but not his name. I'm trying to remember. Anyway, welcome. Oh, we have the web authorization protocol workshop. That's a person to have coming. Who is that? Who's logged in? Who is logged in as the Web Authorization Protocol Working Group? That's me. Can you hear me? And who is me? Hannes. Okay. Hannes. Can you hear me? Yeah. We hear you, Hannes. Okay, good. Okay, so um, we probably have a couple of more people flow in. Way said he wouldn't make it because I think it's 1 a.m. or so there. Um, and uh, asked me to deal with some of his things. Ned, did we figure out your your issue 45? Did it, it still didn't get pull requested, right? No. I see. Sent you a zip. <coughs> Sent you a zip. I just see a bunch of changes that I made. So 
Yeah, you're I gonna see. have to. Uh... <clears throat> I sent you a zip. Uh, there, there's some weird stuff yeah. going on. I summarized an email. Okay, I haven't gotten to that because of this in endless discussion about Corona virus. Yeah. I couldn't tell if Ned's is one that just needs to be rebased or what. Yeah, I don't know either. I just I said clearly that didn't work. So <laughs> um usually it's the question of yeah, you need to rebase base your changes because what you've sent is essentially a, 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 a all the changes that were already in some other other thing. So okay. So um Hank is not here. Why he's just in chat with me in another window. Why isn't he here? Um, okay, right. well, um, we have these, I think it's now one fewer pull requests because I closed that one. Um, this one I haven't looked at at all. Uh, and that one we were just looking at, you, Dave and I. Um, and I don't know if someone would like to just, I want to just grab Ned's stuff. It'll take me a minute while Hank joins. If if you if the rest of you want to look through the pull requests that are at this location, which I will put in the chat, in case you want to copy and paste. My mouse is broken because everything I do is double clicks is when it shouldn't be. Um, so Ned, I'm just looking for e your email. I have several from you, believe it or not. Here's a zip. There we go. The typing is loud. I don't know. Is that Sarah? Me. It's Michael. Okay. I couldn't tell. It's really neat because it's it's echoing off of someone else because it doesn't it, it huh. continues <laughs> after i finish typing <laughs> i just typed it no i didn't hear anything anyway um so let me just try to sort that out for you ned save draft and i guess that's your copy so huh? Issue 45 updates. I don't know why this failed. It should have worked. Okay, I have your minor. You like made like a bunch of typo fixes and an extra sentence. Is that right, Ned? Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. There are like seven changes and additions, deletions, a paragraph. Added. Your Git tree looks fine to me. I mean, it looks like it's exactly what it should be, <clears> and <throat> it's above origin master i don't know why the push request yeah i don't either it's weird to know this other weird stuff i know that it uh one i did it did it was confused about about the base when uh when i tried to uh, do a uh, push and uh i provided that manually but apparently that wasn't a good enough of a fix oh maybe maybe that's it the manual didn't just didn't work out that's why It's it's easy to start over. It's just that's <clears throat> I have the the MD file. I'm just try it again. No, I I got I just yeah I just copied it to my directory and branch and um. Let's 
see what happens. So, Hank, you're not here yet? All right. Well, I don't know what is going on with him. Um, so let me see here. Uh, let me just, let's just go to your stuff here. Um, view number 61. That ought to be the, I just pushed it and yet it's completely wrong here, eh? From layered to issued. That's because you went from layered to issued. Uh, so what we want is just... What you want is layered to master, right? We want mastered to issue 45. Or issue 45 yeah. to master. Yeah, oh, yeah. to master from 45. Master, yeah. change base. That's much better. <laughs> okay, so um, let's just take a gander at this quickly. I don't think there's anything that, that was controversial, so I think we could probably just merge it, but um, just give everyone a minute here to go through this. Um, why was the deletion of the forward references? I don't know. Ned? Other testing and target environments. One example is a components in a boot. Yeah, that looks like older text. So the 255 to 258, I think, is text that was before the red stuff. And so I think that uh, needs to be reverted. Okay. I suspect that was not intentional. I mean, that the whole, the whole change there, I don't know if there was some other change in there that I'm missing, but I think I recognize all that as being part of the previous, the green was changed to the red. This is, uh, this is uh, reverting text that we didn't want reverted. Right, that's what it looks like to me. I'm just... I don't know if Ned is still online. I know he's muted, but uh, yeah, I'm still online. So the red, the red text looks like it. Well, it's not intended. Not intended to remove that. Oh, um, I think the same thing goes along with the line. What two seventy one, two seventy two? Right, that was the winner. So that's a no to that. The, and then you think. 262 to 2. I haven't read that part yet, but certainly the 271 to 272 was part of that same change because that's adding the anchor, the anchor that was for reference to. Right. So the first change I made was the is to maybe down at uh, 7, 783. So okay. I'm not sure how it, these other changes got picked up. <clears throat> um, Just yeah, maybe you use your changes to an older MD file and just copied it over the top of. Yeah, that's I copied his MD file over top, assuming it looked like it was the top of the branch, but it was not. So, okay, so uh, 780 software is running, maybe, yes, uh, running a weak uh, version of the firmware. Finds a way to aim attacks better. I think you wanted that text in. 784, Ned, I always prefer the word might over may when you don't mean it to be synonymous with the capital may. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to come back to that one second. I want to just, let's get the chunks that that Ned intended. You intended this chunk? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you intended that chunk? Yeah. Okay. And or yes, policy comma yes. security conveyance different layers. You intended that. Yeah. Are you regenerating the diffs, Michael? Or yeah, I'm 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 just doing the 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 git okay. add minus p um, and in my other window and doing the right um, thing. Punctuation here. point. Um, there should always be a comma after eg. Yeah, I know that. Isn't that I hate that. There's two of those in seven eighty eight. If, if assuming that the, that text is intentional, which I think Ned, you said that that next was yeah, yeah. So, e.g., 
comma. The next line has a comma. May be. So this information uh, might. might be. So yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, but optionally, might support confidentiality protection. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, by the way, eight thirteen has an IE. Same point. There should always be a comma after IE. <clears throat> At least I'm consistent. Yeah. No, it's just somebody pointed out to me the reference in Chicago Manual of Style that says that, and the RFC editor follows that, and so I've now gotten into the habit of always making sure I put a comma after there so that I originally got picked on by RFC editor. Uh, I want to look up the spelling. Your very last line there, transiting. Is it is that the right spelling of transiting? I have to look that one up. Uh, transited, transiting. transited, or transiting. Are you referring to transited on? It, it is the correct spelling. I, I looked it. Up. I want to make sure it wasn't two T's or something. It's spelled correctly. It's fine. Yeah. I, I need to read through the generated one. Uh, it's up. What what happened? I force pushed this on top of it. Let's try commits. No, that's not what we want. Files changed. Oh, this is maybe a little bit. Might be. Yeah, that's a bit correct. This okay. is correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is what's intended. Okay. Can you leave that on the screen for a second? And let's yep. let me read through it. All on the screen. There we go. Um, in 788, I think the word but, if I understand the meaning right, should be and, because confidentiality Optionally. is not instead of integrity protection, it would be in addition to. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think change but to and. And optionally might support condemn. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think the deletion of the comma in 796 is incorrect um, because of the comma in 793, I think it is, meaning the one that is not changed. Any solution that conveys information used for security purposes, comma, dot, 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 comma, um, needs to support and, and integrity protection, right? That's the, the comma needs to be like a closed comma of the open comma there. The deletion of the or is correct, but the deletion of the comma is not. It is kind of a long sentence. It's hard to read, but yeah. if you put the comma yeah. back, it's, it's okay. Did you read the case when Maine, where the Oxford comma, the lack of the Oxford comma changed a union contract? No. <laughs> Never. Yeah, apparently, because they expected to get paid on stat holidays or comma, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they right. meant to say something <laughs> else. Uh, and the people said, well, no, it says here, it says if you wanted it to be this or this, you would have put an Oxford comma in. Instead, it's a closing of the previous phrase. And so we do get paid for that stat or something like this. <laughs> Interesting. And yeah, it was totally like, you know. Really? <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so I've made that change to the comma. And but, and the but you changed before? The but I changed already. Uh, do you want to force push and refresh the screen? Uh, let's see if that works. No, it didn't work. Need to do... This is not the way to get here. This worked. Yeah, there's the end. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay, all right. Let's. Uh, uh, let's I, I'm this. just second. I'm reading the very last line. I was reading. Right Sorry. Uh, almost done. Give me another twenty seconds to finish reading the very last line.
Um, I, th I I was looking up the definition of the verb transit uh, because this affected somebody else's pull request too. Okay. Um, and the definition of transit is to pass through or across an area. Yeah. Uh, the new large ships will be too big to transit the Panama Canal. So in other words, the subject of transit is the thing that moves, not the thing that moves it. And so the transiting entity would be the entity that moves. And I don't think that's correct. An entity doesn't move. It's the message that does. And the, so if an attester produces evidence that is transited through some other entity that doesn't implement the attester intended to verify, then there, the... there, it, it would be correct to say produces evidence that transits through some other entity. That would be correct. The is transited through, I don't think is correct. So it's in this one. It's this part that you're I, saying. So it should be that both. transits. It both. should say transits. Both. So first of all, that needs to be just transit. That transits. Uh, according to the de the well, just paste in. Uh, uh, I am using the definition off of. I don't know where is this one come from. Yeah, no, I take your point. I'm just trying to make sure we get the right thing. Hold on, hold on. So, hold on. so uh, uh, let me read again because uh, I, there's more of the definition. Uh, I want to make sure there's not a number two on here. And there is not. Okay. So either pick a different word, or yes, if you want to keep using the word transit, then it would be that transits through. Or is passed through would be uh, if you want to pick a different word than transit. Or that passes through. Uh, passes through may just be simpler. Oh. Or is relayed by. That's why I'm just giving you various other variations. I think <coughs> you want your text. So is if you have relayed a problem, is uh, passed yeah. through. Uh, pa that's fine. Uh, the, the I chose the word transit to try and link it with the other use of it. Uh, that I like transits. Yeah, there was somebody uh, else's pull request. Uh, ways maybe that I also had exactly the same problem with. So tra transits. Is that a verb? I see. Yeah, transits, transiting. It's, it's a verb, but the subject of the verb has to be the thing that's moved. In this case, it would be the right. message that transits. Evidence that transits. Right. Evidence Another that transits. Entity. Would be transiting ev entity. Well, that's wrong because it's right. the, the ent the, we need to say something else there than the yeah. intermediate entity or. Yes. Yeah. Intermediate or relaying or. Uh, how about relaying? This says. Uh, some other entity, it could be the relaying entity. Yeah, if you use relaying entity, then it might be easier to say that is relayed it through some other entity just for keeping the same word like you do right now. So is so evidence that is relayed, relayed through some other entity and then they really implement, then the relaying entity yeah. should not expect to have access to the evidence. Yeah, I like that. Then I'm fine with marching after that. That's fine. Yeah, it. I think. It, I don't. Uh, the, the only the only intention there was to try and uh, use use similar terminology in the other parts of the document that use transit, so that people know that is relayed through some other entity. Then the relaying entity should not expect to have access to the evidence. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Let's... Ned is making me want to look up to see if transit is used in something else that's merged. So, um, or only open pull requests. Uh, it's used. It's used in. Uh... I get zero hits. Maybe I better pull. Okay, something else snuck in. No, I don't. Well, I don't. I don't think so. I think uh, I'm. Penway. Penway uses it in. Right. I have exactly the same problem with his. So that one's not merged yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, there are zero uses in the merge document so far. <clears throat> I've at least been consistent on my comments. Okay. Um, right. So I've pulled that, I've reformatted it, and um, that's closed merged. for the moment, merged. And I, I put it. I have the HTML if you want to see it in the point. Um, so this looks really small. Can we deal with this? 
Uh, sure. Can you go to the files view so you can see the context around it? Yeah. Files. Is that what we want? Yeah. Yeah. So here I have a problem with the phrasing of the second sentence. Uh, the second sentence, I think, is talking about conveyance protocols, not topological models. In other words, whether something is pushed by one end or pulled by the other end, or whether it's done by an intermediary who pushes from one end and push a pull, pulls from one end and pushes the other end. Um, this is, I think, too active in terms of implications on the conveyance protocol, which is not what this section is. In other words, whether the attester sends evidence to the verifier or whether the ever verifier, sorry, let's, let me pick. Whether the verifier sends attestation results to the relying party or whether the relying party pulls attestation results from the verifier or whether some intermediary pulls it from the verifier and then sends it to the relying party is something that this section is agnostic to. And so I don't think this section belongs in my reading. That's really what the, other than the fact that it inserts the word data model, data flow shows a basic model. Are you okay with that change? Data flow refers to which diagram? Yeah, that's what I was just going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> data flow is the conceptual data flow. Let me put, put the document online. That one is conceptual, which does not have any binding to conveyance protocols. So, yeah, HTML view. Yeah, thank you. Uh, which one is data flow? Sorry, uh, sorry that's not the right, not the right the copy. First. I'm going to look at my own copy here. That URL yeah. is public if you want. Cons conceptual data flow is the label on the figure. Conceptual data flow. This is the conceptual data flow. Yep, that's the one. Figure one. Yeah. Okay. And actually, I think I said that. It was one point he said we needed to have a diagram like this. And I said, we have a diagram like this. And um, so I think that just missed it's, it. So it shows a basic, I'm just going to type. So what I guess this the goal of this paragraph is not to describe figure one, but to say something about topological models. But I'm not getting it. Yeah. First sentence is not is not controversial. It's just pointing to the diagram. Um, the goal is to for the first sentence or paragraph is to introduce the topic of what a topological model is yeah. and why. So what's what I so I'm trying to answer your question about is the first sentence controversial. Um, if you look at the table of contents, which was I was just doing on my own machine, this is a forward reference to multiple sections farther down. Yeah. Um, and so I don't think it's appropriate to refer to a figure that appears like three sections later in the document. And I think the original intent was make the information flow to the reader um, without uh, forward references that aren't necessary. Um, wait a minute. Uh, sorry. I, um, I, I want to make sure I'm not looking at the wrong place here. So that's line 426. Okay. Sorry. I, I data flow. Okay, it is a backwards reference. Sorry, I was wrong. Uh, the data flow is back at 231. It's a backwards reference. Okay, that's okay. Right, this is, we're introducing Passport, right? So, yeah. yeah. So the, the goal of the first paragraph should be to explain what a topological model is. And uh, I suppose it makes sense to disambiguate it from a data flow model, which is what figure one is. Right, right. I would say it's ambiguous because we have different types of models, a data flow and topological. We have to use those qualifiers in wherever the word model is used. So there are multiple Sorry. possible topological models and then 
uh, if we do keep text at 426 in the green, the data flow shows basic data flow model for communications, blah, 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 right? So now that I've read this three times, um, I think I disagree with the change. Um, it looks to me like the main point of the change is there's multiple other possible models. Um, but in 426, it says it shows a basic model for communication, implying that there's other things besides da the data flow diagram. I think that's false. Yeah. I think they're orthogonal, which I think is what uh, Ned was pointing out, right? One is a data flow model and one is a topological model and we probably should never use the word model as referring to what's in the data flow right so, so the word point, possible Ned, model I'm up here is, right. is is really problematic too then is what you're no. saying no 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 we're, we're saying, saying data flow are... is the data flow regardless okay for how you implement that data flow there's multiple models for implementing the data flow there's not alternatives to it there's just multiple ways to do it and this is showing different models for doing that same data flow the problem right. is that this text is currently implying that there's alternatives to the data flow diagram because it shows 426 shows a basic model and 429 says there are other possible models. It's like, no, 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 no. There's only multiple ways to do the data flow. There's not multiple things in, that are alternatives to data flow. It only makes sense if, if one of the topological models exactly mirrors the data flow. Right. Where the data flow is agnostic of model, right? It's just the information flows from uh you know uh, an attester to a verifier and from a verifier to a relying party so that's what i think i disagree with as the intent of this change i think the old text is actually more correct i don't know what to write here at this point um i i, I would since way is not on the call i would uh, not merge it and leave it open it. And, and not include it in this draft okay Left what was the open. motivation for the issue uh let's see what's in it? issue number 50 since the Subject says issue 50. Let's see what that was. Yeah, Wei has actually been often uh, coming back to listen to the uh, calls again. So your comment may. Okay. Um, um, what we just said, he may be able to parse out better than me. Okay. Not really issue 50, but it looks like you have, Michael. So I'm just looking at issue 50 now. Uh, I see you commenting on issue 50. 50. You put that in the subject line of the pull request. Oh, addresses issue 50. Oh, yeah. Uh, issue 50, what did I say? Yeah, so I said this. I said, but isn't that the, the information flow? A dot, uh, something like this. And um i said well that's that's figure one yes i agree with you it is figure one but it's figure one is the is a data flow okay. yeah not a topological model correct um so is it, well, i don't know I'm the difference this. between this diagram and what's what's and this is, it diagram. Worth, is it worth adding a you know, elevating this this uh, diagram as a third model, give it a name. Mm. Passport or background? I don't yeah. think yeah. so. Passport, background, and I don't know. I, I right uh, now, he asks in the subject of 50, is there a need to have a basis topological model? So far, I'm leaning towards answering no, but I'm still reading through the issue. Uh, yeah, but I think I think uh, Kenway feed off of Michael's comment saying figure one already is describing the basis right. topological model, which is and therefore made this pull request. Yeah. So um, I've read his in, in the top of the issue where he talks about assume that the attester is a network device. I think that's uh, as a use case that maps depending on how it's done to either the passport model or passport background check model. So you, I don't see that there's an issue. I agree with you, Dave. I, I yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I'm just reading through your comments, and I agree with your comments, Michael. So, uh, so, so I think no. My opinion right now after reading this is don't make any change for now. I'm 
happy to leave these open until Wei is on the call to have this discussion, but I don't think we should make any change to the document before Monday. For my browser, big lock to end. I've discovered that with WebRTC that there is some kind of big lock in browsers that mean that that while the audio continues to flow, you can't do anything else with your browser until um, <laughs> until something happens. There's there's some big lock. Like I can't I can't switch tabs. I can't I can go to other windows and do anything I like, but but I can't do anything with my browser. So it'll it'll unlock in a moment or I'll have to disconnect and reconnect. Um, okay, so let me see if I unshare. Nope. I will be right back. Someone want to pick another ticket to work on and share your screen with that because uh, re reloading my WebEx page did not unlock my browser. Unless, oh yeah, print dialog. I'm on, okay, I, I, I elected to print the page and it was waiting in the background to, for me to print it. Um, we can include that. There is not a need for this additional logical flow. Okay, so close and comment. All right, update trust model with implicit trust example. So this is from Jiri. Sent this, I think, yeah. Yep. End of yesterday. Oh, you're there on the call. Oh, I didn't see you join. Okay. Hey, do you want to walk us through this? Yeah, let me uh, let me see if I can share. Uh, I'll come on the bottom. Yeah, I keep. Uh, Dave, do you want, uh, you want probably want me to go to here? Does that make it easier to see? Yeah, you, well? yeah you can share. Uh, what, 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 Nobody's what projecting a screen yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I stopped when. Uh, Stopped when I uh, thought I was locked up. Okay. All right. Okay. You, okay. We can go over the, uh, the PR. I, I think. Um, yep. Yep. So if we go back to the presentation I made on Monday, I was uh, I was talking about the use of what I'll just call unsigned to unsigned tokens, mm -hmm. and you know, so I think a comment had been made that uh, it, it, you know such tokens could be implicitly trusted by the verifier. So Hank has a, a Hank, uh, I believe a Hank section, he has a, uh, he has uh, something in there on implicit trust. But I was trying to add an example where implicit trust could actually be associated with, uh, you know, with um, a lack of token signing. So for, you know, for instance, if for some reason the verifier says my transport connection is, uh, you know, my transport between the attester and verifier is, you know, anchored in a root of trust, like a cellular communication example, then he may just say, for, you know, I don't really need any additional signature on the attestation evidence. Um, that was my intent. And uh, I think uh, William commented over in the evening, you know, and I kind of felt his comments were constructive, I think, you know, because it's important that an independent reader understand this. Um, I think what he wanted, yeah. So he says, first off, are the attest, uh, it, let's leave the typo aside for a second. Are the attester and verifier different entities? So I think in the model I have in mind, the attester and verifier are different entities, but the, ver but the, but the verifier may, the verifier has some relationship with the attester in such a way that they can uh, that you get an out of band indication 
that the link that the that that the connection over which the attestation evidence is conveyed is trusted. Um, so I think you actually need more than um, it could being received across a secure link. You need that, meaning that's necessary but not sufficient to make an assumption that the uh, that it's the same as the token itself being signed. What you also yeah. have to have is some assurance that um, that the uh, attester isn't just a man in the middle and it's being relayed from some other entity, right? Because there's not there's not a binding between the uh, yeah. sender of the transport and the token, right? If those are two different yeah. entities, you have to have some other guarantee that those are the same entity, right? Signing yeah. the token itself yeah. provides that binding, but putting it in the transport does not provide that binding. So you either have a security vulnerability or a, secure, a possible security vulnerability, or you have to have some other external mitigation or external thing to go along with that. Yeah, yeah. So I would only want to do this if we actually have a discussion of that concept and to say, you know, what is that other thing that enforces the other binding, or at least give an example? Yeah. Okay. I can I can certainly do that. I think uh, it, you know it, it'll it'll in the um, cellular case it'll be a little bit involved, but I mean there's this good there's this concept of uh, application servers that are within the uh, that are within the operator firewall. So those can actually get me. Those can you know so. If the application server is the uh, it, you know it, it, you know houses the verifier, then the application server can get a it can get um, meaningful information on whether the link has been authenticated uh, as per a root of trust, and the root of trust would be like a SIM card as an example. But yeah, I can I can add an example. I can get a little bit more detail with that. I can. Yeah, I, I suggest <laughs> you also don't do the parenthetical parenthetical parenthetical. Each cellular uh, thing. Put that as a separate sentence, um, yeah. and um, and then uh, Dave can remind that there's a comma so, after the ed. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> um, well, the other other point I want to bring up is the use of implicit trust. Uh, the BCG community uses a term implicit attestation, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they're different things. Uh, so, uh, potentially a reader that's not um, sort of grounded in, in that would be could 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 potentially become confused by that. So, mm -hmm. uh, given Dave Thaler's comments about trust, really isn't implicit. There's it's just referring to some other context for what what the uh, trust boundary is for the endpoint. Or if it makes sense to try to avoid using the term implicit trust and be more explicit about how the trust can be uh, the trust is tied to the a trust boundary and, and trust boundaries you know are un fungible based on policy and other things so I think the use in 611 is fine I think the use in the green 613 I agree with you Ned that um, I think that that first sentence in 613 to 614 is either confusing or in, or incomplete. Okay, I would like to suggest we go on. Jerry, did you get enough feedback to understand what you're, how to rewrite this? Yes, I did. I don't know if I'll get it in before. Uh... Do, do you want me to get it in before you, before the Monday deadline for creating the ID? Do I don't there? know if we're going to be able to consent consents something before Monday because I think that we need to get things posted probably before the end of today. Is what we're okay. going to do? <clears throat> Is this group meeting on Monday? We are not. Yeah, I think this was the last meeting, and we we're going to submit it today with whatever we agree to merge right now, and leave anything else open for future discussion. Remembering, we could have a conversation on Tuesday, edit things, and post the draft, you know, later on. But I think it's it's uh, good to get there. Um, update the composite device section. This is okay. So this is Penways. Pens. Thing and then things go this way, right? Okay. So is this trying to become um, 
consistent. We had a title composite, a tester is the section, and we decided to change that to composite device some time ago. I guess we didn't consistently do that throughout the document. Um, yeah, so I think the intent is good, but there's a number of grammatical issues that um, are in here right now that may be easy to clean up. Ed pointed out some, I pointed out some other ones. I think I agree with, I'm fine with the intent of changing composite the tester to composite device, obviously. Okay, and then I don't know why this is diagram has changed. He likes to change it, it, look at the label. Look at the label in 375. It used to say composite evidence, and now it says evidence of composite device. Yeah, is that is that a, the change we want? It's a question um, of do we do we think that that term is architectural composite evidence? Uh, or is it just that, that that it's still it's still just evidence, but it contains uh, you know multiple instances? There's another interesting change in there that I don't know if we've discussed. It was somewhere around three eighty one in the diagram. Sorry, three eighty two. You can see he's added a parentheses s on the attesting environment, which wasn't there before. Okay, so so we're okay with this change. Uh, I don't agree with the S. Okay, hang on, but let's one. We're okay with group is okay with yep. this change, the label change. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, maybe just be notes for myself to to if I if we if I can fix the grammatical things, then I'll do that. Um, and then, uh, Ned, what did you say about the parentheses S? I don't agree with it. I don't either. Um, it was not okay. Yeah. And I also, I don't know why it says that. I have to read the rest of the thing better to understand it. I don't know if you, any of you have an explanation. I don't understand why I thought we all, we all decided we would go with the term lead a tester. I don't know why he's removed it. I kind of liked it. I didn't notice that one. Oh yeah. So so it goes from it says yeah. lead yeah, tester here. Yep. Yep. And and now it's just an attester A. Okay. Um. And I, interesting thing that I I I I understood from uh, some interactions with with uh, uh, Mandarin speakers is that the word leader. Is a much more generic term uh, to them than in English. So what we would call this our manager or my boss. They would call their leader. Um, and so the word, you know, a managing a tester would be their leader, a te lead a tester. And I thought that was kind of an interesting thing to understand. Um, and so we have it transiting again here. Yep, that's one of the places I didn't on, comment. On. I didn't comment on it for use, but yeah, I agree that that's uh, the transiting a tester. Incorrect use. Yeah, so it's because it's but look. There's a comma after EG. For me. <laughs> but look, there's a comma after EG. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the transiting the attester that is transited is would be better to say. The attester that transits evidence A and evidence B. Um. Uh, I, I wouldn't even use that. I would say either the lead attester or attester A in his terminology collects. Yeah, I, 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 I like to just keep the word lead attester. Because right. if you look back at that red 403, that's what it used to say. The lead attester collects. And in his terminology, it might be attester A collects. But Then it, it should be lowercase lead attester, in my opinion. It's whatever it appears in the diagram, but yeah. Do you feel it should be lowercase? I just you don't the text or the. I, I I guess I'm not completely bought in on making lead a tester a a uh, entity or a uh, a role. A role. Uh, I am fine with Ned's uh, proposal. So we really want to keep lead a tester, but we're going to make it lowercase. We, yeah, we don't want to have another role called lead a tester. You can lowercase it, and then I think that's okay. Yeah, you convinced me. As a new role, so lower case. Okay, so um, 
I will um I will try to rewrite this one in the next like in the next half an hour um and uh send it send an update. So I guess I I don't know if I can. It's going to be a new pull request, sorry. Um yeah, I think that's actually easier to make it be a new pull request. Yeah, but I, I just because I can't push to I can't push to to his yeah, because so, he did it in a fork and not a branch, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, so, okay, so I'll try to do that, but because I think the rest of the changes from a tester to device are all desired things, um, and I'll try to get Ned's comment in here, uh, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to waste our group time at this point on it. Um, so let's go I've on only here. only got like nine minutes left before I have to try for another call. Elaboration on introduction. Oh, this is, so this is from Hank. He wanted time to go through this. I think his text, I think his text, what I read was relatively good. Uh, but I think it probably needs a read through by, by everyone um, to there. So that's file changes. Uh, Can I get an opinion from others on the, uh, the praise verb? Um, not everyone was on the call when I gave the intro here. So um he made a bunch of changes throughout just the background that changed uh like evaluate to appraise or in a couple cases assess um i had a comment on the very first use which he yeah there thank you uh you can see the the text here um he then um uh was going to change back to uh to evaluate in the definition of appraisal policy um and so you can see my point which i've Pasted into the chat room 4949's definition of evaluation, which I think is consistent with what we want. And that's what I meant by hence I would prefer to keep evaluate. Um, I don't feel strongly about all the rest of the document as to whether the rest of the document uses the term appraise or assess or evaluate. They used to use evaluate. I didn't see a main reason to change it. His main reason to change it was because we term I'll call it appraisal policy and not evaluation policy. And so I don't feel strongly either way throughout the rest of the document, but I want to point this out in case others have an opinion to weigh in here. So um, what you're saying is that we shouldn't use the word appraisal in the definition of appraisal policy. And that is the part that I think Hank and I both agreed in. So, and so you can that, look at like 127, how a verifier appraises, and you can see it used to say program. how a ver verifier evaluates. And you think he should continue to say evaluates. And he seemed to agree with that in the context of the definition of appraisal policy, right? You can see his response. Okay, so so basically these changes are unwelcome to you because you prefer it says evaluate in particular because 4949 uses the word evaluate as well. And it's referenced right there in the same definition, yeah. right? So, so and, and it becomes a bit of a circular definition, but that you're okay with using the word appraisal uh, or appraises in the rest of the document because we've kind of defined it. Um, we've defined appraisal policy. Yeah. I don't have a strong opinion. I had a ugh, uh, reaction to begin with, but I understand why he's doing it. And so that's why if other people think it's fine, I'm fine with it too. Anybody else? Sarah? I, I disagree with circular definitions. So we all we all don't like this, yeah. So so we all think this is. Yeah. So he did say reverting the change for that one. You can see in his comment here, reverting the change for for that particular instance. And so in his latest one, um, that one was reverted, and all the other ones that were changed from evaluate to appraise in the body of the document were kept. I don't think he did revert them yet. Um, he did. I think has a sick kid says okay all right so um yeah i thought he did that in the address dave's first set of comments that one i think was his reversion of that yeah, oh, yeah. He, there right. changed so it back. somehow the files changed part oh yeah i'm just looking at one commit okay so Actually, can you expand so we can see line 131 or something i want to make sure uh, do you read the right both the appraisal there. policies okay yeah okay so yeah both of the appraisal policies do not use the term appraise in those two but other cases like 140, uh, sorry, 139, right? Whose attributes must be appraised. He kept that one as appraised, which was previously evaluated. Okay, so that's kind of thing. All right. Um, do you think that 
we should merge this as it is and then deal with the fallout at that point. I'm just trying to figure out whether there was something else that we well, really I think had, I had glanced through it and I can live with it if it is merged as is. I don't know if other people have read through it or what they think, but well, the, the thing about this is that it gets us an, a non, uh, yeah. it gets rid of more text inter introduction exactly. and right. gets us a document that is uh, a kind of feature complete, I would say. Um, yes. So I agree with merging I'm, this one, but Ned? I'm confused uh, reading through it. It looks like it's changing definitions. So like 102 in the previous document, 133 in the, the proposed new document changes endorsement definition to be attestation result. Is that, am I reading that right? Mm, no, that's just a diff yeah. uh, weirdness. It's a diff weirdness where some of it. What he did was he changed the formatting so that then the markdown, each definition is two lines so that the word and the definition are on separate lines. And in the uh, prior, prior one, it's word colon definition. And so the diffing has problems with it. Yeah, the other reason, the other reason is that, um, so in, in this format like this, that's not a definition list for markdown, it's a point. Uh -huh. It becomes a point that happens to have a colon in it, whereas this actually becomes a definition list which is a, a word followed by a line with a colon. And that means that it uses the proper um, word definition thing. So that's just a, a, a kind of reformatting. Yeah, okay. you see, the other thing that he did is in all the definitions, he removed the punctuation from the end. So now all definitions do not end with punctuation. I see. Right, which I think is... Well, actually, that's not true because I see 154 is not consistent. I just noticed that. But that may be grammatically or style wise more correct is what you're saying. so the other the other uh, possible concern is in the introduction there's the large a large uh, text wall yeah. it's he essentially said, describing figure one but figure one isn't been referenced yet um i sort of agree with that but i think the reason he did that and he put this into his comments uh in the description of the pull request he said this text is pulled from the charter text and so um I think his intent was more text to be added here. Let's fill in something that we don't have to argue about. And so he pulled it out of the charter, which I think he hopes that nobody could argue with um, us right. just taking text out of the charter. And so we may still want to refine it. And maybe that's your point, Ned. Um, but at least as a starting point, it's better than more text to be added here. So that's why I said to Michael, yes, I agree with merging this now and then continuing the discussion. Okay. Wall of text comes from wall of charter text. Got it. Yeah, and I I kind of like the 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 hint about the going through in the forward. Um, lots of people will pull up the document, will go scroll down two pages to the introduction, get into this wall of text, and go. That's really cool, but this is not the document I'm looking for. And that's enough, right, for them to know, right? Yeah. I don't care about this document. Done. Or you know, I'll pass this on to George, who cares about it. Okay, so I'm going to merge this. Okay. And um, uh, I'm going to do some work on uh, this one here. Deary, if, if, if you are able to rewrite this and I'm going to delegate and say, and Dave is happy with it, then I'll merge it and post it. Okay, okay. I have to another time. call. Uh, I, it, uh... About an hour from now, I can check for any of the changes that, uh, Michael, you've done or anything else by then. But uh, i got to drop for another call now. So thanks, guys. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, and and I'm, I'm, I'm picking on Dave Jerry because I know that Dave, it's early morning for him, and he'll be, he'll be around for many more hours. I think you're also in California, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm picking I'll, on you I'll because I figure you have more hours to work on this than than uh, say Hank, who's putting ki stick kids to bed. Okay, all right. Uh, all, all right, right. I'll do what I can. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Okay. Cheers. See you later.